Right, I'm gonna do a short video. It's pretty much my last day in town, packing up and leaving tomorrow. So it's just kind of a little bit of a farewell video. I am actually uh, standing at the uh, Norman slash Saxon slash Roman wall uh, that surrounds, um, well, the Roman wall surrounded Exeter after the city was abandoned, fall of Rome. The Saxons rediscovered it and uh, refortified the wall and used it as a little bit of a fortress uh, during the time of, you know, Alfred the Great. It became a medieval town and after the Norman invasion, 1066, this addition was made. This is a part of uh, what is called the Rouge Mont, the Red Mount, and it is a castle. It is Exeter's castle. It was built by Norman invaders um, after uh, the city of Exeter, which is a walled city, um, staged a rebellion uh, against, uh, against William the Conqueror. And the siege was not effective. Um, the people of Exeter bartered for peace and uh, got a lower tax rate than lots of other people. Oh, nice bird. Let's see how close we can get. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is the uh, outside wall of the castle. This is a tower. Someone's taken some artistic license and uh, wrote void everywhere. And spray paint. Teenagers. I'm gonna assume it's teenagers. I don't know that for sure, but it looks like the work of teenagers. Yeah, this is one of the towers. <clears throat> the crenellation at the top. Small windows. And this is the view. It's too bad the quality of iPhone videos isn't fantastic, but you know, that's a part of the original wall um, that goes all the way around the town, or at least it did at one point. Uh, large sections of the wall have been removed uh, as the city grew, but this area has been left mostly intact. Um, yeah, and it overlooks this, you know, very lush sort of botanical, uh, you know, wood. Um, it's not an actual forest or woodland, uh, but it's a maintained, you know, thicket of botanical trees, lots of different species. It's really beautiful here. It was raining all this morning, so I'm actually pretty happy that it's not right now. But we're gonna, you know, uh, weave in and out of these, uh, these footpaths and, you know, enjoy while we can a little bit of England. Really, you know, at its finest. Uh, I love this place. It's a pity that I have to leave because of, uh, you know, the global pandemic. Um, I'm making the choice to leave, go home. Uh, you know, foolish me, I, I packed up my, uh, my good cam already. And, uh, you know, for whatever reason, I never took the opportunity to come up here and, and get some photos. So, you know, this is kind of a, a last ditch attempt at, you know, reinforcing some memories and um, yeah, so this is the, uh, the wall. Um, you can see how, like, you know, pretty shambolic it actually looks. Um, there were repairs made, you know, uh, over the, you know, the centuries. Uh, really, you know, for the past thousand, four hundred, thousand, yeah, thousand four hundred years, uh, since the Anglo-Saxons, uh, retook, retook the city. Um, oh, this is too bad. Gated. This opens up into the park. Um, uh, funny, you know, there's a notice that says it's closed. <laughs> well, whatever. I got in the back entrance, I guess. Um, yeah, more of the wall. More of the wall. And here you can actually, this is a really great example. So I'm going to try to, you know, see, see the white line there. Uh, maybe some of these, maybe it's better in other locations, but um, there are different layers of uh, of stonework 
um, evident throughout parts of the wall. Uh, typically the um, the white stone was put in by the Anglo-Saxons. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the red stone and uh, yeah a lot of the red stone depending on how it's cut is indicative of either Normans or Romans. This is interesting. Nice little low part of the wall to look at. And over. Ooh, yeah. So this is uh, North Hay Gardens. Nice statue. Um, nice bit of wall here. You can see that's the tower that we were just at. Up there. I'm going to walk back down in here. Try to be, you know try to obscure myself as much as possible so that, you know, just in case there's any bobbies running around. <laughs> I doubt it, you know. <clears throat> Say what you want to about the police, but, you know, they aren't as uh, proactive here as, you know, some other places. If this was the United States, there'd be like a security guard walking around this place. But fortunately, it's not the United States. Yeah, so there's uh, uh, the depression that we're actually, you know, going through right now. Um, and I mean, like, you know, terrain-wise. If you notice that the castle is at the top. Uh, this, and it's going to become more evident um, here in a minute. Uh, this is actually a part of the um, moat that was constructed, so... Look at the look at the grade of the terrain right now, and you can see that there marks the uh, the bottom of the depression, and of course the hill goes up and the castle's on the top. And here we are on the opposite side of the hill, and the rest of town is that way. Um, <clears throat> let's keep walking, uh, check some of this out, and uh, we'll get into that uh, that moat. Uh, here shortly. It's really just like, you know, now it's now it's mostly just you know a little valleyed hill, I guess. Yeah, look how look how impressive that is. Um, very clear from this perspective. You know what the intended purpose of this was. Now it's just you know a lovely sort of you know grassy ravine or something. Um, we'll walk to the other side. I'm standing on an incredibly old uh, tree stump. Super old. <laughs> and uh, sharing these grounds, uh, there's lots of different buildings. I'm not sure which one uh, this is, but the library, the central library is over here. Um, we'll walk past that. Uh, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful garden. Um, yeah. I'm lucky to have, you know, gotten to to live here and uh, experience this place. It's super beautiful. Yeah, let's look at the uh, let's look at this again. Let's see if I can't change the uh, yeah the exposure. Mm. vaguely remember coming out here one night um, whenever I first you know came here and I didn't realize that the library was there I didn't realize that uh, the castle was here I just found a, a park in the middle of the night uh, to, <laughs> to sit down in uh, <clears throat> I didn't really know anyone at the time so I don't know it just seemed like the thing to do <sighs> yeah library I actually just uh, you know had this, you know, little mission. Um, since I'm leaving the country tomorrow, I have a bunch of library books for the university. So I spent the morning calling all the different libraries and uh, finally got in touch with someone. Of course, I can't go up to the university because of the virus. Um, oh, I, that's a, a lovely scene. 
What a view. What a real view. Just want to take that in for a second. But yeah, <clears throat> uh, I had to return uh, library books to the university. You know, it was like 2,000 pounds worth of, uh, you know, like dollars um, worth of uh, library books. And uh, there was no way I could leave them in the flat. Uh, that's what they were trying to have me do. Like, oh, is there anyone you could leave them with? Yada, yada. I was like, no. And uh, <clears throat> so I started shopping around at all the public libraries. And it just so happened that the central library had a person working inside uh, until 3.30. And whenever I called, it was 2.58. So I had to, you know, boogie across town uh, super quick. And... Uh, they asked me to drop the books off in a sliding metal grate door that is, I guess, a part of their loading dock. Um, <laughs> uh, so that kind of felt like, you know, secret mission stuff. Um, you know, it was kind of funny. <clears throat> you had to be there. You had to be there. So this is actually the... Uh, what used to be the main entrance um, to the castle. Um, there would have been a drawbridge here. And this was actually the first part of the castle that was, uh, that was completed. Um, there's even a little infographic. I'll, you know, take a gander at that in a second. Um, <clears throat> So this is actually pretty funny. Whenever the engineers came through, you can see like the uh, the start of the construction. The uh, the lower part is uh, designed by uh, Norman engineers. However, they were relying on local workforce, and so whenever the uh, the conqueror's engineer came through and left, the work had to be finished. And so you can see two Saxon windows at the top. I, I always get a laugh out of that, a little giggle. Um, of course, they, they, you know, the work couldn't be undone, it's done in stone. Um, <laughs> this is uh, the city wall trail. Um, I'll uh, hold the, uh, the video here. You can pause it and um, read it at, at your leisure. I'll give it a few seconds in each spot. Um, then you can take a, a gander at the images. Um, what's also interesting about this place is uh, a couple of the plaques. So you can see uh, when Queen Elizabeth had her Silver Jubilee, uh, a bunch of stuff got a plaque. <laughs> yeah. Um, but this is in memory of the Devon Witches. Now she wasn't executed here um, by any means. Uh, we're gonna walk back up this, uh, this trail. Uh, sort of, you know, kind of back to where we started. Um, you know, might as well just keep this video going a little bit longer. There's no sense in, you know. <laughs> not doing it, so let's see. Yeah, get a, another view of the moat. Can you hear the bird sounds? The wind rustling in the trees. <laughs> Just try to describe the uh, the smell of the air. It smells like wet dirt, which I always thought you know was kind of refreshing. Actually, smell of rain in the air. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the tower, um, and there's the wall. That's where we started the video. So I'm gonna go ahead back down and. Uh, show you uh, a couple of other things until I you know get tired of talking um, 
into the, the back side of my cell phone here. Um, <clears throat> I know I said it in one of my other videos, but this place is just completely empty. It's incredible. <coughs> A total ghost town, but you know, it makes, uh, you know, it's, it's one perspective, um, you know, that you can try to appreciate how everything is just typically quiet. versus bustling. Um, we're actually really close to, you know, um, one of the uh, the bar loaded areas. We are in the center of town. So as we leave, you know, the Rougemont here, um, ah, we go through this door and, uh, oh, you know, I can uh, try to spy um, a little bit. Um, it's not typically what you would consider to be a castle on the inside. It's gone through many iterations, um, but now this, you know, it has a, a bunch of, you know, functional buildings, um, which is pretty incredible. Exeter Castle. Um, yeah, try to show a little bit of the inside. Not much going on in there. Um, the really impressive bits are, you know everything that we were just exploring. Um, yeah, walking down Castle Street and you can turn left or you can turn right. Fork in the road. If you turn left at Cafe Espresso, which is an interesting uh, little place. I mean, just the building anyway, <laughs> as these buildings tend to be. Um, that's uh, down that way is uh, High Street, and I think in one of the other videos um, I, I walked down there, but uh, hole in the wall. One of the bars that all of the students like to go to. Um, and of course it's an incredibly ancient building <laughs> that has now just been turned into a bar. Um, but. There's one place called Timepiece, um, and this place turns into an absolute hellhole of debauchery. Um, yeah. So in the UK, there's this, uh, uh, can't really see inside. There's a big courtyard. If you can use your mind's eye, there's a big courtyard here. The building with the little uh, lamppost, green and tan, is a regular pub, and then the building in the back is just a gigantic bar. No, I don't know if that's uh, if that's all I want to show right now. leaving Castle Street and coming up coming up on the high street where everything is closed everything except for pharmacies and grocery stores it's pretty incredible Exposure right there, yeah, brighten everything up.
Hmm. Do we turn right or left? If we go left, it's just a bunch of shops that are closed. If we go right, it's a bunch of shops that are closed. Oh, well, we've been right before. That reminds me, I should probably take out some money. Sushi shop. Never went in there. Should have. I'd like to go to Japan, Okinawa. I think that would be amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Famous. Back side of the cathedral. That's in the other video. Outdoor shopping mall. It's pretty typical. Lots of shops. I did come uh, over here when I first moved here to buy like pillows and bedding and everything. Um, it was basically the only place in town that had anything at a reasonable price. And I didn't buy everything from, uh, you know, from Ikea like I did my furniture uh, because I absolutely, you know, needed something to, you know, I needed a, a blanket, you know, uh, and a pillow uh, at the very least. So I, I camped out in my, my flat. It was totally empty in there. I camped out on the flat um, on the ground. Uh, for about a week before my furniture showed up. That was an interesting experience. Ah, uh, yeah. So I think... So this is part, this is more of the, uh, the old wall right here, actually. So you can actually, yeah, well, I guess we'll do this. It's kind of interesting. Um, and we might actually be able to see some of the, uh, the different layers um, over here. Part of it's been reconstructed, mended over time in different places. Especially behind the uh, the cathedral, oh, yeah, they're they're actually really neat neighborhoods to walk around out here, um, where uh, a bunch of old old stuff still uh, still exists. Uh, this is pretty interesting. So you can see uh, that there's the top bit of wall. There's actually a walkway. I don't know if I can. I don't want to tip toes for that one. Yeah, this is probably a better way to do this. Um, top of the wall, walkway. This, I believe, would have been, you know, uh, in some way part of a, a larger tower structure uh, that doesn't exist anymore. So you have this bit and this bit. And you can see how the, the walkway goes across. It wouldn't have made sense uh, unless this was, uh, if this is a filled in, you know, portion of uh, uh, an old gate or something, that would make sense, but I don't know. I wish I had all of the answers. <laughs> yeah, a good deal of reconstruction on this wall is done. So, you know, yeah, over the centuries, um, only parts of it are still Roman. These, these down here, these are Roman bricks. Roman bricks. Yeah, for the most part, these are all, uh, yeah, Roman stones. I mean, these are excellent uh, examples. Um, uniform, totally uniform. Like the level of craftsmanship there is amazing. Um, <clears throat> versus other examples that, you know, we've seen at the, uh, at the Rougemont, where it 
it's a, a hodgepodge. Yeah, uh, the outside, I guess the inside is a little bit better preserved than the outside uh, for whatever reason. It's the bit that everyone sees. <laughs> yeah, so if I come over here, I might have to, you know, nip this video in the bud a little bit here soon, but I want to, we're in what's called princess hay. Um, so hays were just sort of, uh, oh, kind of, uh, neighborhoods, I, I guess you could say. Um, you know, there were different districts of the town, uh, different neighborhoods, yeah. So, you know, and eventually in Princess Hay, um, uh, a bunch of posh people lived here uh, a long time ago. You know, very well to do. Um, let's see. Walk through here. This is an incredibly nice neighborhood. Um, take a walk through here. I've never really bothered to, you know, spend any time over here before. It's kind of out of the way for me in most ways. info plaque about the different flowers here. You can try to read that if you want to pause the screen. <laughs> I'm not going to annotate it. It must be some kind of, yeah, I guess this is a botanical garden for the nice part of town. <clears throat> Lonely bench. Quintessential bench. So yeah, it definitely smells more like flowers over here. <laughs> An interesting little part of town. Yeah, Southern Hay Gardens. Um, yeah. All the different hays, they're all named. And they, I guess they used to mean something, um, not so much now, um, where the Roman walk was, just, you know, maybe five, five minutes ago, um, that area, which is now a gigantic, you know, shopping mall, basically, was a bunch of smaller, older buildings, um, where, um, yeah, it was kind of like, you know, main street shops, you know, mom and pops everywhere, a bunch of independent businesses. And uh, the local authorities went ahead and, oh yeah, Southern Hay East, you can see on that little sign, um, demolished all of it and uh, sold the land to a developer and they built a mall, as you do. <laughs> oh, that's a really nice walk, actually. This looks too nice to pass up. Ah, one of these, Extinction Rebellion. Sandwich bar. That would have been nice. 
know, it's a bummer. I, I didn't get to see as much as I wanted to because it was really cold and raining all the time uh, throughout autumn and winter. Um, and I just didn't get the opportunity to explore as much as I wanted to. I was really looking forward to the springtime to see everything. <laughs> I guess that's part of the reason why I'm doing this. It's for sale. You too can own a slice of this town. If you have, you know, a million pounds. Cozy Club? I don't know what that is. Wow, this is a really gorgeous building. I don't know how long this video should be. I'm kind of enjoying just walking around, talking, you know, taping the uh, this other part of town. Since we've already done the middle of town <clears throat> and the castle, part of the Roman walk, which is much more extensive. Uh, seeing the cathedral. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there's absolutely someone's uh, astronaut costume in there. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, this is this is England, you know? At least it's the southwest, but much of this is typical. Um not wholly typical of the entire country. Um but yeah. <clears throat> I'm really happy to be out here on this walk. This is pretty fantastic. I right, think about it. I wonder if I turn my my stove off. <laughs> what a thing! <laughs> Guess I won't know until I get back and find the uh, the place burned down, or not. Either way, <laughs> maybe my pan will just be ruined. There's three flags. This is gonna be interesting. Hold on. Those three flags. We can see them. This one here, that is for Devonshire. It's green and white. Then there's England. Red and white. Flag of St. George. And there's the United Kingdom. Huh, yeah. Devon is the county um, that we're currently in here. Devonshire. Devonshire. The accent here is 100% like how you imagine hobbits speak. It's like that. Oh, it smells like onions. Caramelized onions.
interesting little set of stairs. Wonder where they go. My brain is being jogged. I feel like not only have I been over here, there's something interesting. Ah, yes. Okay, so that's more wall. Yeah, this is the location of uh, Southgate. And across, you can see a yellow square. That's where one of the towers used to be. And of course, there's still the wall. Ah, that's my uh, leasing agency for the flat. <laughs> Funny, I gotta go over there tomorrow and drop off my keys. <sighs> this is a fantastic little pub. Uh, it's not little at all, it's actually uh, uh, a, an old church. Um, so the, uh, the company, Weatherspoons, likes to go around and you know pick up old buildings uh, to use, but um, yeah, that's a beer garden. It's really nice. Um, you know, if you're gonna drink in a weather spoons, it might as well be one of the spoons that's a uh, an old an old building. Um, it's actually funny on the inside; they still have the uh, the pew in the center. Um, everything is still church-like on the inside. It's hilarious. Well, we might be coming up on the end of this uh, little walk. Um, walk up to the uh, the cathedral where we have been before whoever you are <laughs> Yeah, I never tried most of these restaurants, actually. I was never in the mood. Another church. There's so many churches in this town. It's really incredible. <laughs> yeah. So... That's the cathedral again. Well, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, you know, the walk. You know, if you've hung out this long, mostly just 40 minutes of me rambling. <laughs> Hasn't been too bad, has it? Learned a few things. Saw a few things. Huh. Nice little shop. Find a find a good place to end.
Well, that's it, I guess. Could go for another 20 minutes, but nah, this video doesn't need to be an hour long. <laughs> uh, well, wherever you are, take care.